Hello everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. I've created a brand new class project and this one I think you'll find super cute. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick brand new class project. I am very excited to share this one with you because it's like a storage mini slash memory box and it uses the brand new 2021 Childhood Minte Paper Pack. Oh my goodness, watercolor illustrations, yes. Bonus sheet, double-sided papers, super quality and you only need one paper pack. Of course, I already do have the entire class available down in the description and it was so much fun. I cannot wait to see what you create with this. You can change the paper, you can switch it up. It's unbelievable what you can do. So right here on the front cover, I did cut this out of the cut aparts page and then out of the little elements page, I fussy cut around some of these. And there's a magnetic closure on the front here. And you can kind of tell already how gorgeous this is and you will surprise yourself. Look at that beautiful image, how quick this comes together. You will be mind blown. <laughs> For those of you new, I am actually an online art instructor specified in these mini albums and handmade scrapbooks. I've got over 2,400 students and we are just sharing amongst each other on my Facebook group our projects that we complete. There's almost 600 of us there. So it would be wonderful to have you there as well if you become a student. And oh my goodness, let's, let's look. Let's first listen to this, okay? Oh my goodness, that's what you get. Okay, you learn to make this entirely from scratch, start to finish. And this is so cute, look at this four by six photo right here. I did a couple of chalk marker designs and we got a couple little photo mats here. And of course I left these open so you can tuck the picture behind. And you've got right here the storage box, which is the main event. And it's got this brilliant little piece here. And I just tucked in these little cut aparts and what have you, but really you can fit an entire stack. And this is where the storage part comes in an entire stack of four by six photos. And you take a stack this thick or more, and it fits beautifully in here. And you just store it. And look how cute. <laughs> is that not the most adorable picture of a little boy? This is Salem. This is way back in the day. Absolutely wonderful how many photos you can actually fit in here. And that's me when I was a kid. So talk childhood, <laughs> me and my best friend Morgan. So whether it's a stack of four by six photos that you just wanna flip through with your family or some cut aparts and different journaling cards, it's totally up to you what you put in there. Now this ankle pocket has a couple of different fun elements in here as well. So again, you can make as many or as few different types of inserts that you would like, but I just assembled a few different types just to create variation and interest and look how beautiful. And this is something you can do if you've never made a mini album before or even a box. This is so simple, it just takes a couple steps and then you're on your way. Okay, look how cute, this is a little acetate Polaroid frame. You would just stick your photo in there. You can even take the white cardstock out, stick the photo on there and then slip it back in. We also have another little awesome pocket right back here as well. So this is a total of three. Oh my goodness, look at this cute little acetate frame. Now these are just little fun inserts that you just pull out and then you put your photos on and you run with it, okay? This is so brilliant. I also have coupons available. Look at the beautiful, oh my gosh. Every month I put a coupon out, so if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll be notified. And you can get a deal off your first class if you're questioning. Oh my goodness, this is so great. Then you would just stick them back on here, and these are totally customizable. You can swap where you put the photo mats. You can swap how you set them on. You see I have a landscape one here. It's endless, the things that you can do here. This is your book and you can make it your way. If you're also wondering what my tutorial classes look like, I will be playing a tutorial trailer right after this walkthrough. So you can stay tuned for that. This was so much fun. I hope to see you in the class. Remember, I come out with a new class every single month. So if you become a monthly subscriber, you get instant access to every single class I've ever made in my entire career and new ones each month. So, oh my goodness, it's been a blast hanging out with you. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the class. Bye. Hello friend, it's just excellent to be here with you. Welcome to the Storage Box mini album class. 
I am super stoked to teach this one. It comes together much faster than you'd think. I will also be using the Fiskars paper trimmer. Super lightweight, portable, and easy to store. And then I've got a simple pencil, a ruler from the Dollar Tree. I've got about 15 sheets of this 8.5 by 11 white cardstock. That's where I'm going to stamp my little camera. And the back of that one is this. Look at how cute. You'll notice there's a stiff side, and then there's an actual bendy side. I actually make sure we cut it at a certain point where we have strength going in a certain direction. Just start at the bottom, stick it, cover that tape, and use the tape as that guide, and let the rest fall. So I like to keep about two and a half or so fingers in this little circle here. And then I load my tape on the side. And again, you could put as many or as few strips of this adhesive in here as you'd like. And I'm twisting this in to where this is straight and this comes down at an angle. That's exactly what we need. The first piece is going to be the base, four and a half by five and a half. Let's go ahead and line this guy up with a six and a half inch side along the top, half an inch. Rotate opposite side, half an inch again to make the pocket. So I like to actually find the bumpy side right here and fold toward that side just because it creates that beautiful card maker's traditional fold. I'm going to be on the mountain. So I flatten my piece out and I get my 3 eighths and line it up right here. However it is that you want to center that or you can eyeball it like me. <laughs> Let me go ahead and start right here down at the bottom. The last three pieces are our G's. 1 and 11 sixteenths by 2. So one and eleven sixteenths, and then smack dab in the center, even pressure, lift up, and if it's not perfect, that's okay. Eighth of an inch border, as you can see, this guy comes in. Eighth of an inch border, as you can see, oh my gosh, this is looking so great. And now we've got the back, which is just going to be a little strip, seven eighths of an inch by four and one quarter. I think I want to keep it consistent. I'm going to go there with that. Thank you.